Pinson, welcome to the show. And um, thanks, bro. This this is a pilot, of course. Sure. My my voice is kind of fucked. My voice is kind of fucked. I had flu last week because of you and your boys. No, 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 no. Um, we had flu last week. We don't born Sunday. Get get. Young just step on face. I was on to a panel show. I was on a slate. How you how you bomb? He plays software that. So. Uh, <laughs> This is a pilot, and I'm really looking forward to myself and the crew, mm. whether it's with SIS, whether it's with Homo, to whoever we're going to be working with. We're going to find a working formula mm. for how we shoot. I love raw, unfiltered, uncut conversations. I love the idea of chance, even in the background. Let's say I give a stat, like 20%. They're like, no, dog, it's 60 Yeah, you know, from the back, because the whole vibe of podcasts that I think a lot of people have missed, mm. and by a lot of people, I'm talking about new podcasters now, mm. the whole vibe was just raw, authentic conversations mm, 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 about mm. like real shit. Yeah. And I currently work on a podcast with DJ Spoo, mm. on your virtual Mkuku, and part of my concern was he comes from broadcasting. Yeah. So he comes with all that professionalism. Of course. You know, and I, when we interviewed Umekchi, and soul mm. that was one of the things they raised that you know when people come they come with this whole yeah but we have to cut we can't like but the whole vibe of podcasts is a chat because people want you to chat people mm. want you to be real they don't want so i know we're going to get professional mm. and it's going to get formal and i appreciate that things have to grow mm -hmm. um jay-z got commercial at some point mm. but we need to try and not take away from the authenticity I think is important. Okay. I invited you here and I'm, I'm thankful that you're here because I want to speak about one topic, but it's going to go into a second one. The first one being masculinity in the modern age, because mm -hmm. I know it's a conversation you and I have mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. Going into the second one being the kind of role models that men have today. Uh, obviously, from a social media perspective, you've got May Rest in Peace, Kevin Samuels. Mm -hmm. Jordan Peterson, you've got Andrew Tate, who's mm -hmm. blowing up TikTok right now. Uh, you got to so busy. Eh? So busy, I'm strong. Anyways, so masculinity. So gaga. Can you scream? I scream on my role models. So anyways, so anyways, I, I just like to hear some of your chats, and then we'll yeah. we'll take it from there, you know, because I know it's something you're very passionate about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Masculinity in, in 2022 in the modern era. Where, where are we going wrong? Where are we going right? Do you have any idea of even the history of where we got to as men? Yeah. By men, <laughs> Matt Walsh. Mm. I'm talking about people <laughs> with a penis <laughs> and high testosterone. <laughs> what, you know, the, what, my gammies, what do they say? The big gammies are uh, whatever the... Jeez, what's a gammy? In the corner, I'm a big one. Testosterone. No, Hormones. Man. No, they were saying, what, I think females have a certain type of gammies, whether I think it's smaller or bigger. Gammies, and then males have smaller, but whatever. Good to find a chromosome. Take the shipping jar. Okay. Good to Montes Lisa or XX Montes Mame is XY. Sure. You know, so you can identify whatever you want to identify. You know, so I mean, if I created a sport today, I'd make sure with my sport would be separated via XX chromosome and XY chromosome. And the 0.008% that have a mixture, mm. well, now they'll just flip a coin. What, what are, you saying? are you saying you don't recognize? What? Gender fluidity, transgender. No, no, I, I, I don't recognize that. But before we jump into that, thanks so much for inviting me through to the pilot, you know. Um, just I'd, I'd like you to come and visit regularly. We have a lot of topics to unpack. Yeah, um, yeah, 100%. So. You know, because Nami, I also want to just get my podcast going. So I need to chat with the guys here. No one cares about your podcast. Please shut up. You're not getting free mileage. Just, just shut to up. plug it in. So it's, that, called, it's called the Penson Show. Whoever's going to be editing, Q, please cut that out. Thank it's you. called the Penson Show, original name. You know, P P P S for short. <laughs> Chocolatey goodness like me, caramel texture. So I think linking a layer around masculinity is a, is a huge one that um, uh, we've taken for granted over the generations. You know, going from what it was, let's say, our definition of masculinity a hundred years ago to what it is today, and trying to understand what is fair and where we are, Nam Um Masculinity obviously is subjective, Machita. Like how you define what a masculine guy is is different from or oh, Andrew Tate, no Jordan Peterson, you know. But first, from a biological point, unpack what that looks like socially, what that looks like when it comes to gender, what that looks like, and then. You what just said when it mean? comes to gender, is that not biological? No, okay. so sex, sex is the biological one. Sex is okay. XX chromosome, XY chromosome gender is the one that's on the spectrum 
you know, so masculinity on the one side, femininity on the other side. Nazi as gentia, there'll be things that we do that would be society will deem feminine. And then there's things that we will do that will be what was serious, Jelumadinda? I'm listening to you, please. Oh. Sing at magic, sing but you're also but you're also kind of lecturing, so you know. So this is not a comedy show. Mausalang Amashaya with your funny hair. This is not a comedy show. Guys, we're having a conversation. Nobody shame. A, please, please hey, listen. Where is it? Just because it's the pilot, obviously we'll okay. take liberties. But I'm I'm huge on education. Okay. You come from a teaching background. 100%. Our mom has been a teacher. Our father was a coach. Yeah. I'm huge on education yeah, yeah. and people obviously watch conversations for different reasons. Sure. Entertainment, arguments. Yeah. I love education. And I think, I know people get tired of talking. Yeah. You guys talk too much. When do we do? I don't think we speak enough. Mm -hmm. And I think the people in government, the people at the United Nations, they do a lot of the talking mm -hmm. and they make a lot of the decisions on our behalf. Mm -hmm. Because for some weird reason, it's become weird for us to have <clears throat> important conversations. Mm -hmm. One of them being, you have a penis. Mm -hmm. masculinity, what yeah. does masculinity mean to you? What does it mean to you raising three boys? Mm -hmm. You know, what does it mean as a person who had a father mm. and how is it going to affect your interaction with other chains out there so yeah. by all means obviously we'll have a fat chuckle but um, I'm very happy with the education and please don't mind my serious face because I'm, I'm listening attentively King to Mobi so more serious so feminine that's not what and masculinity is on a spectrum that's not what your mom said <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jeez, shit, sorry. <laughs> okay, so gender's on a spectrum. We have masculinity on the one side, we've got femininity on the other side. So, for example, I do my nails. I enjoy doing my nails. Sorry so, to cut you. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Yeah. You are splitting it up into biological, Sex. social, Sex. and gender. Yeah, so we're just going to press break it down. Then. Okay, I'd, I'd so, like you to go the way you are going, if you don't mind. So you can mix the okay, social let, and let, the gender, let, but let, let, let me let's finish start with this the point and then go all the way back. Sure. Okay, so again, gender is on a spectrum, masculinity, femininity. So I do, I will, for example, get my nails done. That is be deemed very feminine. And I play rugby. That will be deemed masculine. Okay, so let's go back. In Zulu, we don't have gender. We don't, we have sex. You know, so let's also understand that this gender is a Western construct. Ne? So if we go back a hundred years back, you had male, female, and that dictated certain things. And this we, was only based on private parts. This, this was, so your, your hormones dictate how you move. Are right? you telling me that back in the day they were considering hormones? No, just no, you don't have to consider nothing. There's Muntus Lisa, there's Muntus Mark. I'm saying, is that based on private parts? That's based there's on a your reason genetic, why I'm asking this. That's based on your genetic makeup. Not your private parts. Your, 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 your every little atom, whatever you're made of, ne? including your private parts, tells us Guti, who you are. No, it's an important question because now we speak about hermaphrodites. Yeah. We speak about people with uh, internal sexual organs. We speak about going to the gender thing. This is why I'm asking that people back in the day, yeah. if you're going to tell me about hormones and your atoms, yeah. I see you. Yeah, yeah. How do I know that you're a man? Okay. So, again, when we talk about humans, we talk about people with 10 fingers, ne? Okay. But you've got a cousin that's got 11. Sure. You know, when we have those situations, I think that will be case by case. They don't speak to 99.9% .9 of the population. Sure. And unfortunately, in today's time, you've got the 0.1 that has the loudest voice, which makes no sense. So if I'm a hermaphrodite who has something that made up 30% of the population, I would be happy to engage. Sure. Labu bantu labu. You know, but to give me, um, I doubt anyone in this room, I might be wrong, has seen a person with a penis and a vagina. Sure. But you realize why I'm asking, you've seen Matt Walsh's What is a Woman? So when you speak biology, sex, yeah. that's why I'm asking, are you speaking private parts? Because once you speak hormones, to me, yeah. you speak of something internal that a person outside may not be able to see. Yes. So I'm speaking internal that affects your external, if that okay. makes sense. Okay. Yeah, bon. So who you are in Gapagati will affect how you look in Gapan okay. type of thing. So that's what I'm trying to say. And again, just talking to 99%, of the population, the one percent, please forgive me. You know, so if we go a thousand years back, 
people in Fiji, people in China, people in Russia, people all over the world. No one spoke to each other, no social media. However, it was broken down into male, female. Sure. Everywhere in the world, sure. without any con uh, conversations, men did certain tasks, females did certain tasks. Sure. That was everywhere, even in the Americans. In the Americas, Guti, because of how you are built, you are better at, e.g., hunting. Yeah, one. White sci scientists have told us that men, on average, can see further than females. Ne? X Y chromosomes, and females can see more colors than men. Goes back to our prehistoric buildup. Men can, for hunting reasons, need to see further. Women for picking berries or I don't know, type of roles that they had back then, seeing different colors aided. So what I feel within the years, within mo modernization, within people trying to be liberal and slalile, oh, one percent, and you know, your feelings matter to us. We've made everything gray. All of a sudden with us unpacking it from an English point or from a Western point, now we're discussing things like gender. Sure. All of a sudden, your femininity, masculinity, your transgender in multiple cultures around the world outside of the West doesn't exist at all. Okay. You know, so I think that needs to come into it. So when we speak about masculinity, when we break it down into our cultures outside of the West, being a man, okay. being male, having a penis and a huge ball sack and having a beard, if you can grow one out, being a little bit taller, a little bit broader shoulders, and what that means within your society. Okay. So I don't know. So since she called step one, the historical background, now yeah. going into the society, you know, and we need to be very aware how we've been influenced by the West and the way in which we think and the way that we express ourselves and the way in which we live has been very much modernized in Western cultures, if I can call it that. The way, by the West, you mean Europe and America? Europe and America. Okay. Yeah, one. Uh, or I can just even just limit it majority to the English-speaking countries. So okay. Australia, USA, your England, you know. Um, the, what we eat, how we dress is majority of that. What we value, majority of that. <clears throat> and with the modernization, with the West coming to places like South Africa, they've influenced how we move you know they've influences they've influenced our policies our laws influenced um, your household all of a sudden we in households where by it's a dual household where the woman has as much weight in saying things as the man mm. you know um, the work situation where a woman can then run a fortune 500 company as much as a man can you know all those things will shape how we view Femininity, masculinity, males and females. Sure. To a point where 500 years ago, it wasn't 50-50. 500 years ago, it was your strength, my strength. Sure. Yeah, well, and your strength, my strength doesn't speak to 50-50. Because I do 100% of the hunting, you do 100% of the raising the home. Okay. Yeah, well, so that's not a 50-50, that's where you use your strength for your strength, I use my strength for my strength. In today's time, because of modernization, because of Abelungo, because of the West, now it's a 50-50 whereby I bring in 50 rand, you bring in 50 rand. I wash the dishes on a Monday, you wash the dishes on a Tuesday. I bought the kids on a Friday, you bought the kids on a Saturday. And it becomes that 50-50. Therefore, a man is as equal as a female. Ne? Equal in a 50-50 together makes 100. Okay. That has really, in my opinion, fucked up society. It's fucked up masculinity it's fucked up males because now we've been stretched into doing things that we biologically are not good at you know estrogen estrogen as a hormone if i inject you with estrogen right now you know within time x you'll become a more patient person you'll become a more caring person this is a real a more, thing this is a real thing you'll become okay. a more attentive person you know um there's a reason why a huge majority of even in the West, the most liberal West, the majority of nursery school teachers and junior school teachers are females because they are more patient, they are more nurturing. It is a... Because of estrogen. But estrogen does that. Not, not because they have vaginas. Estrogen, they are makeup. Okay. Ne? So, no, there's a reason I'm asking that. Yeah, yeah. So okay. they, they... Not because of their vaginas. Everything. Because we're in 2022 now. Yeah, so, so again, <clears throat> if I inject you, a 
XX chromosome man. And with, I keep my penis. And you keep your penis. And I, what will happen is that you will become more patient and nurturing. Than a nursery school teacher. No, not, not because no, of no, my no, penis. Not, not, not than a nursery school teacher. Sure. I'm comparing panel to panel. Okay. Panel who has no, who are, who we're not injecting with estrogen, sure. and panel who we are injecting with estrogen. Okay. The one that we inject with estrogen becomes more attentive, nurturing, patient, etc. Yeah, one of those feminine qualities. I hear you. I'm not saying with now when I compare you to Miss Mandy, you're going to be more than her. No, no, no. Sure. Just you versus you. And the opposite with testosterone. If I go and fetch Miss Mandy and I start injecting her with testosterone, her voice will start dropping. Ne? She'll get. Uh, physically her muscles will develop at a higher rate sure. you know so she will become faster she'll become stronger um, she will have less patience she'll become more aggressive type of situation so again our makeup gives us certain skills ne? therefore just because you have estrogen makes you better suited mm. for something like a crying child Sure. You know, if you had to pick two human beings, one with high levels of testosterone, let's forget penis and vagina now, sure. one with a high level of estrogen. I want the one with a high level of estrogen looking after the child. Why? That person is more attentive. That person is more nurturing. That person is more willing to um, cater to that child's need. Lorna, who has high estrogen, has less time for that. If we're, running, if we're trying to run a company, for example, or we're going sure. into you know, something that requires... A, an aggressive approach in order to get to payroll at the end of the month. I want this one who is more aggressive, sure. the one with high testosterone, because they become more solution orientated. That's what happens when you have more testosterone in your body. You have one. So now, what we're trying to do, we're trying to play God. Ne? Whereas there's people that say they identify as females and then they're still injecting themselves with estrogen. It's unnatural. No, it's unnatural, though. Okay. You know, there's people that are saying they identify as male and injecting themselves with testosterone. No, no. Are, are you against that? I'm, I'm against that to a point. Okay. I'm against that to a point. So let, let, let me rather say I am not pro that. Because when, when I, I don't want to say you're I'm... Pro, you're pro natural. I, I, okay. I am not pro vegan. But if you choose to be a vegan, that's your life. Okay. Yeah, but I don't want to make it seem as if I'm, I'm anti something. I think it's cutting some manja. It's either you plus or minus. Sure. I, I don't want to seem like I'm anti a band that choose to do that. Sure. You know, where I'm anti is when the vegan wants to force his lifestyle or her lifestyle on me. That's where I'm anti. Sure. You know, that when they say uh, meat is murder, now I must go around feeling guilty with I street twice too. Yes, you, mur you murdered you yeah, murdered a chicken. Yeah, I want mean, so much I must be guilty. Sure. Yeah, but, ah, you must address me. No, no, no. If, you can choose to identify as a giraffe. Sure. Now I must treat you like a giraffe. That's okay. what I identify as. No, 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 no. You can identify as a vegan, ne? You must live your life as a vegan. Sure. Now when I'm in your space, I must do vegan things as well. So I'd I'd like to change the conversation to race for, for okay. temporarily. Um, using the same trajectory that you've given us, prehistoric times, mm -hmm. men would do the hunting, yeah. women would do the nurturing. Yeah. Um, when I'm done suspending this, I want us to speak about the fact that some of the more masculine traits are no longer needed yeah. kind of situation. White people could argue similarly. In prehistoric times, the boss was white. Mm. The, the business owner was white. The representative, the president was white. Mm. And black people were looked at as second-class citizens, if not even animals. Mm. You spoke about science and data. And at that time, the science and the data said blacks were three-fifths human. Mm -hmm. They're not even a fully developed human being. And as time has evolved, black people have fought yeah. from a Western template yeah. to be recognized, to yeah. say, I'm good enough to be a boss. I'm good enough to be a boss. Um, it's not just because I'm black that I shouldn't be allowed to do these things. Mm. And of course, the same way you speak about injecting hormones, mm. there are black people, Michael Jackson, who have bleached. There are women that use skin lightening. Today we speak about yellow bones. Mm. We speak about pretty privileged, lighter skinned people mm. get advantages. Um, do you not think that's a natural progression in terms of because if women are seeing that men 
are dominant because they hunt. Mm. Men get the bigger piece of chicken. Mm. Is it not normal that they might want to become more of that? And if other men maybe see the woman get to spend more time with their kids, etc., that they naturally might be like, I want to do more of this. Are we not moving towards a space where we want to become the same type of human, mm. regardless of race, regardless of um, sex? Mm. So we want to remove race, non-racialist, we want to remove gender and say, the strongest person must lift. The person with the best eyesight must go hunt. Mm. The best decision maker must become the leader. So remove the penis, vagina, skin color. Is that not the argument that you have if, right now? If, if, if people want to go into that space, then go for it. Yeah, one. So Mina, if white people want to talk about their, uh, how modern they were and situations and we're going back, let's say, 150 years, then I'll agree with them. Sure. If they then say, let's go back a thousand years, then it's a different conversation. Or if we go back 5,000 years, a different conversation. You know, we had kings and queens and we had the diamonds and the golds, you know. So we also had that. We built the pyramids. We have Great Zimbabwe, you know. So again, from that point, how is it that you feel more superior, you know, than anyone? Because you, again, you have greats. Like as much as you have Alexander the Great, you also have Uma Genghis Khan. You know, you also have what they did in um, in Labo or Iraq. What was it before? But all those places, which there was, there was, there was always greats in specific pockets. The Arab nations. You know, those Arab nations. There was always greats in in pockets all over the world. You know, but now what then happened in my understanding is that you'd had one or two guys who then explored the world and then sure. decided to take advantage of spaces. If that makes you um, a superior being, when you go over to, if if I were to go next door, and while they're sleeping, chop off their heads and take off their house. If that makes me a superior being, if that is now that line, okay, then shut, then you are a superior being, you know. Um, but outside of that, I might say that you might be a more devilish being, you of know. Course. You know, That's so, normally the argument for victims, so, so whether it's, it's, it's black or female. It's, it's however you want to frame yeah. it, you know. So flying across, or not flying, being in a boat from your country, you go into someone else's country and you mass murder those people and then claim... Yeah. You frame it however you want to frame it. Superior, devilish, X, doesn't matter. So give me, I'm saying, if we're going to go back thousands of years, I don't see where you are stronger than me. I, I don't. You know, if we are framing it from 150 years back where you had created your system on the back of those people that you had conquered because you were better than or conquered because the devil spoke loud in your ear, shut. You know, then you guys were better suited in running your system because it's your system. You know, now that we're running your system, the reality is, can we run your system at your level? You know, um, unfortunately, in my opinion, as starting here South Africa, because we're so behind them in this race, they will be able to run the system better than we can run it. Do you, do you, do you believe in the superior dominant people having control of how the world works at any given time. Do you believe if you're the strongest, fastest, smartest person that you should be allowed to run things? I believe, Uguzi, like a father of a household. Or do you think there should be an intervention? Sorry. I think like a father of a household, you know, um, whose intention is what's best for the household, then they must run whatever space. Sure. So again, um, if the biggest, baddest lion is intention is to look after the pride, mm -hmm. then the biggest, bad, baddest lion must lead. Sure. If the biggest, baddest lion is there for their own selfish, short-term gain with a long-term where we all crash and burn as a pride, then I don't believe that's the case. Who, who decides that? I don't know who decides that. As because, you know, listening to you speak about going back in time and who was dominating at various times, yeah. it would lead me to believe that hence, therefore, thus, where we are now, feminine people, whether it's women or men, they're the ones that are looking to run shit now. And they're dominating the masculine men. The fact that you can lift 500 kgs makes you a gorilla. Yeah. And if you're a gorilla, you should be in a cage. Yeah. I'm smarter than you. I have more money than you. Yeah. I can maneuver around. I can use technology and tase yeah. you. The same way we dominate elephants and, and, and. Yeah. So this thing of having a high testosterone, we're not hunting anymore, my dog. We use Uber Eats. The fact that you can lift whatever, we've got cranes for that. So 
could it be argued that they are the dominant species now and the guys who want to be masculine and beat their chest have become the minority mm -hmm. and who cares about the one percent and again mina my whole thing is it's all about crp as a band so i think we had a chat around on a whatsapp group where people were saying no man let's move to a more feminine type of fathering yeah, but now we're at a, po a point let's, where... Let's pick up the habits that mothers had. Yeah, one. Well, now we're at a point where... But w maybe one of the reasons why men are killing themselves at such an alarming rate, you know, mm -hmm. is because of things like this. Yeah, one. Well, so give me... I don't mind, me personally, the strongest, most dominant person in the room to lead. Give me... I'm trying to say, with this person, the strongest, most dominant person leading, where are we... What are we going to look like in 10 years' time, 50 years' time, 100 years' time? If it means that the strongest nations in the world, they, they lead, and as a result, we get over pop, um, what's it, pollution, overpopulation, uh, the poor people die, and then the world explodes, then they weren't the right people to lead because they were leading us into our deaths. Yeah, mind your Putin, in no ban bani, they're the most powerful, strongest, but now they're playing ching chong cha with nuclear bombs, and now we're all dying. Yeah, one. So if it's a situation where I'm a feminist who are gender neutral, whatever the case may be, these new people that are coming through and they are now the most dominant with the loudest voice. Uh, 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 uh. If it means that it gets to a point where, you know what, let's just be gentle. Everybody cut off their penis and stitch up your vagina. If that's where they want to lead us because they're the loudest and the strongest voice, it, that looks like in 100 years' time there won't be people. Sifa song. Why not? Sifa. No, but wh why would they not be people? No, I'm just saying, if it's a situation where everybody needs to your genitals don't matter. Yeah, you don't. Cut, you don't need cut, genitals to make babies cut, anymore. Well, take out your ovaries, take out your womb. Uh, if you have anything that makes a sperm, I see valley Let your gender be nothing. If you, the same with your race. If you are black, let everybody just be grey. Sure. Yeah. What? What's, and what's wrong with that? I'm saying with if give me, it's a something where in a hundred years time, siafa, as a people, yes, but what, all what die. if it's not? What if it's what's best? What if you can then, be a single father yeah, then, then, and make then, your own then, babies then without we'll needing then, a woman? Then, then, then history will, will determine that. Now I'm asking your opinion now. So I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care about history I, of the future. I, I, I'm asking I, your opinions I look, now. I look at it like this. So I've got gang people that I just that, um, discuss and debate around, let's say, something like homosexuality. Sure. Yeah, well, and I say, again, each to their own, live your best life. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. What happens when we take something like that Ne? where we all live a monogamous life sure. selfishly in our silos. Ne? We all live a monogamous life selfishly in our silos and all of us choose to be homosexual sure. or the majority of the world choose to be, chooses to be homosexual. What will happen in 100 years' time? Sure. You know, so there's good habits, there's bad habits. If we all, 80% of the world decides to start binge drinking every day and getting high on coke, what will happen over 100 years? Yeah, but, so again, much like the Industrial Revolution, what will happen in 100 years? We polluted the world. Uh, poor little turtles are dying in the ocean, whatever Abelung are telling us. You know, so give me, I'm trying to project, Uguti, where will we be should we carry on with this culture? Your, your morality rulers, if what you're proposing could be copied and pasted to everyone else, to would we live in a good world? Would, would, would the world, or in a sustainable would, world? Would the world be a good place to be? Sure. You know, so again, would the world prosper? Would we... Um, w will that take us to that next level of happiness that we're all trying to get to? I'm going to ask a sneaky question. I want to yeah. go into the social media, guys. Yeah. Um, it's 2022 in South Africa, and our economy mm. is kind of fucked. Yeah. And we all know the ANC government has kind of fucked shit up in the mm. last 30 years when, while they've been in power. Yeah. And someone goes back and says, look at apartheid. Mm. Look at British colon colonization. Mm. That's when South Africa was built. That's okay. when our economy was strong. Yeah. When you guys proposed, let the blacks in. Mm. Look now. Yeah. The blacks are in. They run the country and they're running it to shit. Yeah. Do we now argue that, look, guys, let's let the blacks go back to just being labor mm. and let the whites run shit in a similar fashion if we say, let's all be gay and mm. then no one is making babies. Mm. And then 30 years later, like now, we're like, guys, we need to go back to masculinity, mm. femininity, mm, mm. force people to have kids, etc., mm. etc. Um, do you think South Africa as a country is a mm. better economically run country with white people dominating and black people us being labor? I, I fully disagree because I think 
if we go back to his Katia Party, they were they were catering for less than ten percent of the population. Yeah. So you've got ninety percent catering for ten percent. Mm. So when they say South Africa was in a better place, no, you are saying that ten percent were in a better place. You know. So again, if those white people are proposing, would say, let's take that uh, a, a government. Will that government be able to cater the same way that they catered for the ten percent? Will they be able to cater for the majority of South Africa? Do you, do you, you know? believe those those ninety percent are better off now? I believe Guti the ninety. And is it sustainable? Because that's I, the other thing. Our economy could crash at any time. I, I believe Guti. It's what what are we measuring against? If we're measuring against the West, Yabo, then I think Guti they are better off in terms of the possibility of opportunities. Blah 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 blah. If we are basing it on. Um, us as a traditionalist African country where you had a plot of land and you could farm it, you know, and you didn't have anxiety being stuck in traffic or ukibeli taxi and all of a sudden, then I think we were better off then. Yeah, so sure. it all depends on what or how you're going to frame it. So would you fight for that? No, I, I wouldn't enjoy that because it means I grew up in a Western space. Okay. So for me to try and unlearn 33 years of my conditioning, you know, it will be almost impossible for me. Sure. You know, so I, I don't find it... Uh, I don't find it attractive. We are like to wearing a mape shoe, and yeah, I, I, where where we were, let's say in seventeen hundred, as an argument. Even if it's more sustainable and better for the world. If it's more sustainable and better for the world, if if I could wrap my brain around me going back to that means Uguti, it will be better for the world, and I and someone could convince me. Sure. Then maybe I'd agree. You know, okay. like if someone really sat me down and broke down the benefits of being a vegan and how it will make me sharper mentally and physically. If someone really sold me on that, then it would be something that I'd really consider. But as we are, I'm sure. I, I, I can't for the life understand Uti, how the national party that only, that took 90, that took 90% of borderline slave labor just to cater for 8% thinks that they can take the population now and cater for the... That was never the plan, by the way. It and was never the plan. That's, that's not even no, what no, I was no, asking. No, no, I was just saying, should someone whisper that and say, let's go back and use that government again? Sure. You know, I look at Cape Town, for example. That, sure. that would be the closest thing to, the, the DA is the closest thing that I know to the, to the National Party. I was in Cape Town a couple of weeks ago. Beautiful, clean, mm. pristine. You, when you drive from the airport to, you know, but then again, I was living like Umlung. Sure. You know, the second I went into Buma Kukule, to Buma Filipi, when I went into the flats, yes, yes. Then you start realizing, you know, man, these people are doing exactly what the National Party did. They cater for the white areas sure. and anything else is almost like uh, the cupboard where you've stuck everything and you haven't even looked at, you know, where those people are living in slum conditions. So you're thinking, okay, no sharp. Like, this is how, in my mind, if I had to frame it, people lived in 1970. I give my power, my voting power back to these people. The majority of South Africans, like the majority of Cape, people in the Cape, will live like that. You know, so that's where I'm stuck between the devil I know or the devil I don't know. Who do I throw my, my, my vote at? Because Do we need masculinity today? Do we need a lot of masculinity? I, I, and how I, do you how do you feel about the guys I mentioned and I think some of the need, preachings that they're giving out? They've got a huge I, male audience. I, I think I think we need masculinity now more than ever before. <clears throat> you know, um, we soft long as of it. We we struggling. Uh, the men that I talk to are, are depressed. They are anxious. Uh, we don't have real direction anymore. You think that's you know? from a lack of masculinity? I think that's a huge, huge lack of masculinity. You know, um, we so more masculinity would mean less male depression, less male, male so, suicide. So, just so, as a so again, I feel good, Tina. As men, we geared to come up with solutions. We geared to produce. We geared to build. Yeah, when now we're in spaces where we don't have those opportunities anymore. You know, it's like having um, owning a greyhound. You know, greyhound the dog, and then you live in a flat. Sure. I think after a while, you, you're not utilizing it. I, and then you find out if you go to like a vet or whatever, which, oh, your greyhound is so depressed. It makes sense. You know, this is not what it was built for. Mm -hmm. You know, see, now we grew up in a space where, for whatever reason, our fathers were absent. So, see, now we are a generation that grew up uh, under Ama matriarchy. Okay. You know, you hear today, we see, oh, the patriarchy, men, whatever. See, now, school is where, oh, mama, oh, coco, oh, auntie. 
female you know, school teachers. Female school teachers. So from when we woke up Vuso Mawako to when you go to bed, you are just led by females. Sure. So your framing is very much have been conditioned by Abant Besma. You know, and this is a lot of the discussion that I'll have whenever I discuss it with a female. I'll be like, you must understand, Guti, from my whole foundational being was around females mm -hmm. and matriarch, decision makers. That's what we know. But in that process, it's almost like a bird teaching a fish how to swim, you know. So the matriarch and the woman in our lives could only do so much as the birds. But you know, now as men, we're depressed, we're anxious because we don't know how to fly. But we were never made, that, that, that was never our, our, our reason to exist. You know, we were sharks, we were whales, we were uh, whatever types of different fish available in the sea. That's who we are, uh, are as mm -hmm. men. And even at TV and social media, there's not enough fish to motivate and say, no, Ndanga, you need to swim like this. Because Abanda Manjango, Jordan Peterson, they came in and they'd say things and we were like, shit, that's exactly how I feel. Mm. Or Joe Rogan, like, that's exactly how I feel. You know, every now and again, you, you, you'd, you'd see like, um, let's say a Satu Zuma, he'd say certain things, you know, and we're like, hey, what's our Kuluma volume cheat? Mm. And he'd speak to us as an audience, and all it, of a sudden, it resonates. It resonates, you know. Lapos Kulisue, we're watching my wife and kids, and we're watching um, the, the wife of Damien Wayne's dominate him in the household. You know, sure. dictating exactly what he must do. You watch a blackish where that woman who's a doctor dictates, and all the black men in these shows growing up were just weak men. You know, weak, weak, weak talalas of men. And then all of a sudden, Jesus, you get that's harsh. That's the truth. That's wh that's why they make, they make good money and they loving dads yeah, and they present dads. And, and and those are the things that threw us. Andrew off. Tate says Ubawa must disappear. You know, <laughs> sorry. You know. All of a sudden, my book generation, my film, my check my boss. Who's a much it is? Can he be to check my boss? He check my boss. And he's the bad guy. And he's the bad guy. The bad guys are generally you very know. masculine. But but even it's even, called toxic masculinity. Even even or 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 uh, with certain roles, you know, they didn't have to necessarily be bad guys per se, mm -hmm. but they needed to be men upon a standpoint. Sure. And then all of a sudden, those things speak to us. You know, that's why Sastandu Buga isn't this Jengo Tsubasa or Sastuga or Goku. Because we're not, we were like, we get that, you sure. know. Versus we got, oh, Timothy Chang, uh, one, oh, pumpkin patch. Timothy Chang. Yeah, we want to listen to what he said. We, that's more because we were very feminist. And as you get older and you start going through puberty and you get more and more aggressive, you start identifying with certain things, sports stars. You know, you start identifying Jobang Ishuguti with, oh, Jack Mabas. You start identifying with, oh, Koku. And you start looking for fish around. And I think we just don't have enough fish in this world to actually say, Danga, you're actually a shark. There's a meme that says um, everyone knows that uh, absent or single single mothers raise super athletes. Oh ye. <laughs> so if you're a responsible dad, you must <laughs> chuck must as chuck, soon as the child now. is born. And Andrew Tate was also saying, a man's job is not to be a woman. The guy yeah. must fuck off." Yeah. Um, people like you and I, yeah. modern fathers, who yeah. were raised by a very loving, very hands-on mom, mm. we've tried our whole lives to mm. try and emulate that and yes. be present fathers and not be like our dad. Um, you said earlier mm. that men were meant to hunt and mm. women were actually meant to raise the kids. Mm. Do you feel there's nothing wrong with women raising kids and boys, but just up to a certain point? So Simba should actually be with, be with his mom, Sarabi, up until maybe 16, 18. And that's when now Mufasa is meant to come in. And maybe your argument is men are not being at the right time being transitioned to say, now you can leave mm. your mom's nest. It's now to go to the lion's den and now become a man. And maybe that's what's happening with these guys. Because as, as guys mm. who are feminized, you and I, mm. why are we drawn to these guys? And is the argument that we should have had them since birth? Mm. Or were we actually only meant to have them from 16, 18, who once we have our own kids, would now go through this process. But it, it's a guy that has the XY chromosome, ne? the XX. See, the woman has the extra chromosome. She's got the Y. Yes. Because <coughs> we, we, according to Abelung scientists, we're all born female. Angit. Sure. So we're all born female, and then when a... Female or genderless? Female. Okay. Yeah, when a song we're born with a quiet. Until, again, when again, you... Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, 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 yeah. So, depending on it, your penis develops from lesos into lesos. So, from the clit. 
the penis develops from the clip. Okay. Yeah, that's 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 what that's what we were told. Sure, that's that's what biology says. Yes, sure. yes, yeah, but so again, even if you look at prepubescent kids, you know, they are very similar in they are built, the way they talk, the way they what what. There's a lot same of same height, same height. Boys only you know, start shooting up a bit you know, later. So and in, in, if we go to grade one, you know, they even they kind of run at the same pace. Yeah, some of the boys on average might be a little bit faster, but it's not the the gap isn't as big as, as later. Yeah, one. Um, they they identify more with the primary caregiver, which is the person who is most patient, most nurturing, most attentive to them because they're still learning how to walk, how to wipe their bum, how to, yeah, but, and they need that. Mm. Once they get post-puberty, you're seeing a lot, and this is me also just talking from a school teacher's point, and from what I've observed, maybe people have observed it differently. And you're a psychology major? And I'm a psychology major. Yes, that's not my credentials. 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 No, credentials. You start seeing a lot of the boys pulling away from their mothers. And this happens just naturally, pulling sure. away from their mothers, because all of a sudden, I can't relate. You know, when I was a child, and you tell me, um, eat your food, eat your food, eat your food, eat your food. I needed that. Like kids that learn how to walk, it's constantly stand up fight. They want that repetition, repetition. As I get older, I'm solution oriented. I'll eat when I'm hungry. Sure. Stop being a rash. Yeah, understand. And they ignore. Sure. It's my room. I understand where it's my mess. I'll figure it out. You know. Uguti roomy cleany means nothing. There's a smell in the room. It's my smell. I understand it. All of a sudden, post puberty, boys start moving away from mom and move closer to a male figure, dad, who is also solution orientated. Mang funa looking as one, two, three. Mang lambi I eat. I move like this, you know. And it goes back to when the school mang aguti tina. We were very feminized. Sure. So tina, even post puberty. We didn't have any shocks around that we could kind of gravitate to or watch in lean because we still had the old And then by the time you realize, why are we always fighting with Tima Umama? Like she's trying her best, she's doing her best, but you're not realizing, Guti, she's coming in from a point of a bird, a person who's never peed standing up, and I'm coming in from a point of a fish, and us, we're missing each other. Sure. We're constantly missing each other. And as you get older, you know, your only reference of parenting is from your mother. So you try and emulate, if that's the right word, into that you saw from home. Mm. But you understand them and see, every time I have to bought these kids, ish, something like, Asuga. like when they say, Baba, I'm hungry, you're like, ah, it's a mina, it? you know. Do you, do you think you're a better man because you were feminized initially? I know Tupac has spoken about something like this, um, about being emotional and being in touch with his feelings compared to if you had just been masculine earlier, do you, th do you think you are, I think you're, you're more evolved and more sensitive and can I'll, succeed I'll, better than the next guy who was just generally raised on testosterone from I'll, early? I'll, I'll answer this the way Curtis Jackson, AKA Fiddy, answered it. So they're like, okay, so he was getting interviewed by a reporter and the reporter's like, you're so successful, you're so rich, blah, 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 blah. If your mom and dad were both present in your upbringing, would you be way further? Or you say, or that interviewer said, imagine how much further you'd be. Sure. Yeah, one. And then 50 said, said, whoa, calm down. You know, maybe if my mom and dad were both present, you know, I would have gone to school, finished high school, maybe gone to college if I was lucky, and then I would have been sitting at a desk job, mm. you know, and 50 cent would not exist. Sure. You know, so the mere fact to go to Umama passed and I was raised by a gran, and then Ukoko passed and I was raised by the streets, put me in a situation. So he was busy just talking about unknown unknowns. You know, um, there's many people who are very, very successful. Steph Curry, mm. mom and dad, both present. very present, and he's a very, very successful basketball player. Yeah. But on the other side, there's also a LeBron James. Sure. You know, so mom and dad present, Michael Jordan. You know, so again, the, the, there's arguments on both sides, but it's unknown unknowns. You know, maybe if I was shown the way of the shock earlier, you know, I'd be the biggest, baddest one, you know. Or because, you know, we introspect and we sit and we've gone through and we're like, where, where did I do wrong? How can I fix it? How can I grow? Maybe that's what I needed 
mm. and if there was a present timer he might have squeezed me and you know and i didn't have to fight and he might have fought my battles sure. that actually have molded me to be the um cheetah that i am you know because i think that's one of your lines that i love would you don't take away your kids struggles mm. or your kids challenges because that's how they mold into being that super saiyan yeah you know but at the same time maybe your presence being there you can then assist them by showing like like a mentor mentee relationship yeah. you know with no 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 tell love tell love no no don't you uh, and they and if you had that or if i had that we we could potentially have been further angas at all no pinson thank you very much uh, i think this was a lack of pilot i'm looking forward yeah. to having you come some more mm. um i know this is a huge topic yeah, um, yeah. just in closing i was listening to probably the smartest guy on the internet mm. naval ravikant yeah I know a lot of people haven't heard of him. It's yeah. fucking you know. Like, um he was saying what was fascinating with his podcast was that when he looked at the data mm. it was 95% male. Mm. And when he had the conversation with Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan was like, "Fuck, I think we're also like in the 90s." Mm. Same with Jordan Peterson. Had a conversation with uh, DJ Smoo because mm. we were looking at the data and Smoo was mm. saying we need more of a female audience. Mm. Our numbers were like 70% male. Mm. And I was like no I I hear you we, we definitely do and it makes me ask a lot of questions but the other thing it tells me is men are hungry for other men yeah to mentor them and to tell them something that's alternative because it seems like on TV mm. there aren't spaces to tell men who it's, it's it's fine you know I left the father's group um because it felt too feminine yeah. for me yeah there was a guy who couldn't afford to pay maintenance mm and he was like you know he's not feeling great he can't see his kid and the guys attacked him mm. and i was like okay number one this is meant to be a support group so let's hear each other out number mm. two the advice they were giving him mm. no you should take your child with the pram you should take your child for picnics mm. i'm like this is not the type of space i want to be in mm -hmm. not because i'm aggressively masculine i mm. personally like a world where people should choose what they want to be mm. Mm. If you want to be a gay dad, soft dad, you know, you do you, yeah. But I don't like to what you were saying the idea that someone out there, Hollywood, mm. the West said a perfect father must do one. Takes one, the two, child yeah. to Milky Lane. Yeah. They teach the child how to cycle, they change the nappies, mm. and if you're not doing these things, you're a failure. Mm. Because I know there are other men out there, amazing men, mm. who don't do any of that shit, mm. but they bring the heat in in mm. other things as yeah, well. Yeah. So um i'm just to, I'm, just, just I'm to happy to in. have these conversations because i think a lot of men will benefit and hopefully in time outside of watching hobo nang no boiti mm. women when they ask or when they try and figure out why are men beating us mm. why are men killing themselves mm. why are men um struggling with alcohol mm. abuse mm. i'm hoping at some point they will come to these conversations and be like let's actually find out what men have to say unfiltered it's, 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 unwatched it's, it's, and it's, and maybe we'll begin seeing why my man is miserable why he's absent why he doesn't want to be there for his kid but it's a hard and it's not because he's crazy it's because he's not a woman therefore he will never think like you because i don't look at you as a woman and say yeah. but why didn't you lift the thing why didn't you just service the car why didn't you change the yeah i didn't think as a man i yeah. thought shit you are a woman yeah. but when it comes to me being a man you never think oh he's a man let me try and you always think but come on dear mm. it can't be dear to you mm. based on your gender mm. and if we want to find each other then we need to educate each other for the betterment of our society because because that's what we're like yeah oprah oprah no was oprah. the shit destiny's child was the pumping group so 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 if not tina, destiny's so, so, child it was all in sync no 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 tlc so so tina we we actually have a a in my opinion a better understanding as compared to bona who also didn't get to drink from the other side Sure, we understand the female psyche a lot better than they understand yeah. the the male psyche. Yeah, yeah. Because hip hop okay. saved a lot of our lives as a machid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were looking for, <laughs> I don't know if you'd call them positive. Yeah. When we were looking for male role models who were alternative. Yeah. Who were happy to see asses jumping up and down, twerking. Yes. You know the huns fucking making money, there, flossing, there, there, there was a wearing time chains. Where my favorite rapper was Mystical, and my favorite song was Pussy Crook. Jesus and I was 12 years old. Pussy Crook is like a rape song. Dick that's rapey. Dick don't fail me now. That's what what the fuck? That that's the song. That's that's, a, that's literally the lyrics. 
stick don't fail me now. They call me the pussy crook. What the fuck? You want like, Casanova now, a young <laughs> cat who makes music saying, I'll punch you in your face, motherfucker, I'll knock your teeth out. Jeez. I have to try and explain to a person why you like that. How they do won't you, understand. How but do you, how do you explain the day it, someone it, breaks it, into the house, it, 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 that you the, day like someone, the day someone breaks into your house, yeah. the day someone is harming your kids, yeah. the day you're in shit, yeah. you'll remember those. Women are going to want that guy. Yeah. Isn't that the guy that said he'll punch him in his fucking face and Bring knock him. his teeth out? Yeah, yeah, that's who we that's need. That's the guy. Yeah. Because my guy is just good for nappies. U Ukraine versus Russia. That's Ukraine versus Russia. Ukraine Vladimir versus Russia. Putin, who's still pushing aggressive and, masculinity. And that Donald Trump. What's that Adan Danga? Uh, from Ukraine. Zelensky, I think. Oh, Zelensky. All of a sudden, women are loving that Ndanga. Because mm. Ndanga said, you know what, fuck you, Putin. This is my country. You must take it over my dead body. Sure. And that, and that, I think what, that's what men need. That to understand, what see, within you, Ndanga, there's, there's that. When the Maupis will push on my prem and trying to be a soft president, when the barbarians come to the gate. Is it not enough to get women masculine for that reason? They can't, Dungel. The, the, the fastest woman in the world, the fastest woman in the world, couldn't beat high school boys. Like right now, we, we take the, the, the top the couple of high school boys here within the Randburg area, and then we make them race U Shelly Ann. What's M she Shelly Ann? Jesus Christ. And Labo, she's the best. She's the one percent. She's, she's the top. She's not even the top. She's the top of the top of the top of the top. And also, she will find out who is in the exchange. Jesus. That, that's the truth. I was, I Look, say, tough times. Say, tough yeah. times, ne? ne? I, I used to uh, run athletics, ne? The Gauteng high school times. Creden average, credentials. No, no, I have to drop them. You, you ran, you ran, you ran <coughs> SA, SA Junior Champs. I did, I did. I was very good. I still am. Amazing. Multi-talented. Okay, now you're killing the credentials. Mal so anyway, um, if you look at, on average, when you go to... Uh, Start with Shelly Ann's time. Shelly Ann's time. time is running 10.69. 10, 10, 10.69. 10, 10.7. 10, 10. If you go her now best time. to Ereimsig, ne, when they're having ama Gauteng challenges or the Joburg regional ones, they haven't brought in the guys from Ekorulenu or Pretoria. Mm. The, the under 15s, mm. under 15s are running sub 11. They're running like 10 8, 10, 10 7. Brian Abena ran a 10 8. The, the, so if you're saying 10 7 is the, the fastest woman in the world, in, 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 and her banners at 10 8, the, the under 18 rugby player. Are running under 8, the under 19s, there's no under 18 for athletics because it goes under 15, under 17, under 19. They running lekka buma tendri. Like la. We haven't brought in the other guys. To, to qualify to run the Olympics, for example, in South Africa, back in the day before we had, uh, when I was still running, uh, 2007, 2008, it was still 10 1 to qualify to the Olympics. That, that was just before, I think mean, they only take the two fastest guys. Before we get there, just to be able to be in a space where we can look at the, are you running? That would, they would be how many guys? That are running those times. They were like eight. Now you still need to find the how many females in this country are running sub eleven. I've got a counter argument to that, but we'll chat about it another time. And I, I, used, I will, and I will I end with athletics, this. and I use athletics strategically because athletics in this country is the most gender uh, fair sport. Most people that you know have run a hundred meters at school at some point, sure. whereas most people that you know didn't do water polo or they might not have done cricket. But male or female, Marty, what could you mind me as a scholar? At some point, most people will say yes. So it takes away the poverty line. It takes away the school that you go into. It takes away, uh, yeah, bon. it was just one of those things on your marks get set, kitchen type of thing. Sure. No, yeah. but we'll chat about it. Sure. We'll chat. I think it's an important conversation. I personally love the fight for not gender fluidity, but I think there's a huge case and I think the world has to move into A, and it's going to be tough mm. yeah. going to depression and suicide because for black people to dominate the business world, mm. I think some black people had to hate the concept of working nine to five, being in traffic, mm. you know, for us to have mm, mm, mm. black billionaires. Not mm. necessarily that that space is correct. Mm. Um, I think we're in a transition. And for me, looking at the oppression of women, mm. the oppression of black people, mm. if this is what it's going to take to build an equal standing, Mm. so that the strongest, fastest woman can compete mm. and not be left out just because she has a vagina. Mm. And the most nurturing man gets to babysit the kids, gets to be a nanny, mm. gets to run a, a preschool. Mm. 
uh, and not be left out just because they have a penis. Mm. Um, if this is what's going to take, I, I'm... But those are two different arguments, by, right? No, I, I hear you, oh. but all I'm saying is I, I understand why we're here. The United Nations, the World Health Organization, all these fucking weird freaks around the world mm. are going to make these decisions for us, and yeah. then you're going to have to call me a giraffe. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Holmes. Out.